Hi my friends, this is Jody Renshaw from The Thrifty Pigeon and Studio 36 and today we have an awesome haul. I am very excited about today's haul because it came from a church rummage sale and y'all know how amazing those can be. So where everything's like a quarter and there's just stuff everywhere. So this was in Bangor and it's a church that does it twice a year. I got there half an hour early, I was the first person there, but then as soon as I got there, there was a long line afterward. That's how, uh, that's how good this particular sale always is. And of course people run in with their bags and boxes, and, and I wasn't prepared in that way, so I had my big purse, and I just kept putting things in my purse and telling Nobody said anything, but I was, you know, telling the, the volunteers there, you know, I, I, I'm paying for these. I just, I don't have anything to put them in. And then I did find some empty boxes and I just was filling them. I got three, uh, three boxes of vintage books. Um, I mean, big size boxes. I got um, a lot of porcelain and glassware and, well, you'll see, I'm about to show it all to you. A lot of things that I do not find at Goodwills or yard sales or anything like that. So I am going to make sure to go out of my way for church sales everywhere. <laughs> so, so that was good. I also want to tell you guys, just uh, as a little order of business, if that's how you say it, that I recognize I am behind in creating content. I am behind on a couple of invoices. I've done pretty well, but there are some things I'm behind on and I am working furiously to get caught up. So I just want to say two words, basketball season. Okay. We are in perpetual basketball season in this house. So we have spring ball, summer ball, fall ball, and winter ball, but they're all different each season. And so we have to like create a new normal around that season, that particular season. And I have not created a, a new normal yet. So Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, is just basketball for the for my son and his two best friends and we I bring them to their practices and their games so there's a lot of pickups and drop-offs and waiting and videotaping the the um, the games and messing that up I messed that up Saturday I corrupted a file apparently and missed half a game which was probably my son's one of one of his best games yet oh anyway so I'm trying to get caught up, so please know that. And please give me some grace. I really appreciate it. I know that I said I would do a mug sale by now and I haven't done it. I also haven't ended the pottery sale yet, which I need to do and hopefully will do tonight. My husband is doing basketball duty tonight, so that's great. Um, I'm gonna try to do a lot of catch up. But first, let's have fun with a haul because this haul is really great. This, this is a good haul. Uh, the f oh, and in any of my haul videos, if there's something that you see that you want, please email me and we can make a deal. So some things I relegate to eBay, some to um, my new shop, my new online shop, which is the thriftypigeon.com. And then some I relegate to live sales. So, um, but it doesn't hurt to ask because I mean, I have not said no yet to anyone who said, hey, can I buy that ahead of time or buy it off of before you post it on eBay or whatever. I have not said no yet. Um, you know, everyone's been generous about what they offer for a price and I tend to price things pretty low. So I want, uh, I want you guys to come back. I want people to get good deals. And so, uh, so yeah, I try to keep my prices low. I have a friend who told me that a couple of things that I purchased at the rummage sale on Saturday that she does not want me pricing low because they're higher end items that she was really excited that I was able to get. And you know, I do need to pay for groceries. So I just realized like I have stuff going on in my face and very, very tired eyes. So. 
coffee. Ugh, maybe you guys see that. It feels like there's a little spider. A little spider in my eye. There's not. Ready? Look at this Ralpo planter. 1956. She is amazing. Look at her sassiness. Look at her dress. She is in amazing condition. I, I mean, she's fully signed. She's got her sticker. She's... Wow. She is amazing. I, I just can't keep saying that. I can if I want. She's amazing. I just said it again. This is what I was stuffing. Like, I, everyone runs in, like I said, and, um, or I don't know if I've said it yet. I've re-recorded this intro three times, but I was, I had to shove her in my bag, and I'm so glad she survived that during the church sale. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so she's going on eBay unless anything else happens. She is probably going on eBay today. So I'll take pictures of her after the video and I'll post her on eBay. Does she, she I mean, she's, I just can't believe I found her. I can't believe she was just sitting there. Th there was this whole table full of things like that and I was the first person to head to that table and I was just stuffing everything in uh, my bag and in boxes and I couldn't, I couldn't believe my luck. It was wonderful. So, some of you guys, especially Picasso Cat, she has the most amazing luck. But I, I don't have this kind of luck like this, like what I'm about to show you. So, here's another piece that was absolutely stunning, is absolutely stunning. A fawn and a dog. And it is, so I looked it up, I looked up the mark I did find it uh, in Germany. Oh, geez. Now I can't remember. I can't remember now the mark, what the mark is. But I did, I did find it. I know who made this. I just forgot to write it down. It's on my, uh, in my notes on my computer, so I will look it up later. But yeah, that was awesome. We're just getting started with what I found. I hope that fan's not too loud. You guys let me know. You can't let me know live, but... Okay, then... Look at this, sweetheart. Oh, look at her lips. Look at her lips. She's tying on her bonnet. This dress is just gorgeous. And she is marked Florence. She is so adorable. So imagine those three items that I just showed you so far were all sitting together uh, with what I'm about to show you. And I just kept stuffing things <laughs> in my bag. I'm going to turn that fan down. I'll be right back. Okay, fan is off. So hopefully that's better sound quality. Okay, you ready for ugh, this one, this one. So this is a Joseph original. She's a planter. Oh my God. Look at her. Look at her face, her hands, the movement of the piece, the gold. Oh my gosh, she is so perfect. I cannot find a flaw on any of these pieces that I've shown you. I cannot find a flaw. The only thing I wish is that she did have her sticker on, but she doesn't. However, I looked her up extensively and I found several articles and she absolutely is a Joseph original. So I will post her on eBay in that way. And uh, she'll probably go up on eBay today, tonight. So, yeah. Crazy, right? I mean, look at the short hair, too. Which, you know, a little bit unusual for the time, I'm thinking. At least that's what a very um, seasoned 
uh, collector told me that there was unusual for the time and her painted nails oh my god I felt like I hit jackpot so just those four items I've shown you I paid $30 for everything I bought and these these four items are high value so I was really very happy about that and then this next item also has some high value and it in a completely different vein though this is a Anderson design studio which is Maine bird and I think this one is called the fledgling robin if I remember right the fledgling robin not quite as pretty as some of the birds that came out of Anderson design studios in my opinion but still quite um, uh, desirable so yeah look at the face so that is also going on eBay unless I hear otherwise from someone and hopefully today I'm hoping to get that done today all right so let me just move I'm gonna move a couple things I'll be right back okay friends I moved some things around so this next piece I I know has uh, value and probably people are seeking it out. I could tell by the glaze that this is this is old and um, collectible, but I do not know the maker. First, the original sticker says that it was 65 cents. Look at that. 65 cents. And it is a bunny planter. So the glaze, only the glaze, tells me that it might be shiny, but um, I really am not, I am not good at guessing. So I'm still learning, and I was watching some things about shiny today, and that's how I got to looking at the glaze and thinking, well, maybe, maybe it's a shiny. So I tried looking it up, and I did not find it. I will try again using Google um, the reverse image thingamabob. So I'll see who this is. But yeah, this, this was on that same table with all those other beauties. And I just thought it was fantastic. So there's that. Then these quails, right? Are they called quails? Look at these. Or should I go this way? Let's put them that way. Why am I having them argue? No, they want to talk to each other nicely. They're having a nice conversation. These are uh, Norcrest and Japan. And I looked these up and they consistently sell well on eBay. So I'm for around $30, $30 30 to 40 so I think I'll put them there unless somebody wants to email me and wants them uh, with for less without me paying the fees so yeah sweeties the birds are always fun then I found these salt and pepper shakers by Barrett no Hold on. I don't know. They're plastic, floral, and this, I love, I love when the pepper is black and the salt is white. Like, don't confuse, don't confuse. And they, this one looks used. That's funny, the pepper one looks used, but the salt one didn't. So they're really adorable. I like these a lot. I already have my salt and pepper shakers, so I'm not going to keep these, but what is, it looks, oh, Burrite, B-U-R-R-I-T-E, from Los Angeles, California. Hmm. I'm learning things every day. So those are fun. And then my husband loves old pencil sharpeners, so I have no idea if this has resale value at all. I have no idea. 
but um, I had to grab it. It is Chicago, Apsco Products Incorporated in Chicago. I have one of these um, on my desk in my bedroom that is nailed down to the desk. In fact, when I bought the desk, it came like that. It doesn't work very well, the sharpener. Let's, do you want to see if this one works well? Excuse my big forehead. Let's see. Let's see. I don't know if I can do it like this. Okay. This isn't going to go well. No, we're not going to do that. Because now it just came apart. Oh, Jody. Oh, Jody. So, hey guys, this is what the inside looks like. <laughs> Well, you know if you've ever cleaned them out. It didn't fall apart. That's how you clean them out. But, oh, you can make it go that way? I don't know. My husband will know. My husband will know the things. He'll fix it. And I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with that. We'll see. We'll see. I found a Fire King bowl. The um, opulescent one, this is very well used, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Maybe I'll put it in a giveaway. Some people like used, you know, things. I do. The outs, it looks like, you know, oh look, you can see my camera and stuff. That's fun. But yeah, see, see how used it is. But it's still so pretty. So, I brought it home. This mug is going to go in the mug sale when I do eventually get to it. I have such awesome mugs and I think I'm just going to do them $6 a piece and you pick you pick what you want. Um, it'll be a static sale. It'll be on YouTube. and Or I wonder if that would be one I should try for Instagram. I don't know. You tell me. So it's advice from the dog. <laughs> You want to know the advice from the dog? Ask for what you want, loudly if necessary. Go after what you want. Unleash your talents. Learn new tricks often. I think that's good advice from the dog. Inside says, make today perfect. Perfect? Yeah, perfect. And delight in the simple joy of being with people you love. That's what dogs do. My dogs are with my son and his friend right now because they're playing a game. And so I had to shut the door because they were, they were getting kind of loud. Not the dogs, <laughs> the boys. So I found this uh, Blue Delft. Uh, I don't even, I don't know if I know what this is. Hmm. It's just a little house. I don't know what it's used for. Uh, Blue Delfts exclusively made for KLM by BOLS Amsterdam. It doesn't look, uh, whoops. It doesn't look very vintage. And it has something inside. Oh, it has a cork inside. Oops, this keeps wanting, oh, there we go. So if I could fish that out, it's funny that it would come like right to there. So I don't know what this was used for. Maybe you guys know, but I mean, it has a lot of markings, so it should be easy to find. Okay, there was that. Oh, Garfield. I never see these PVC figurines anymore. So I had to grab him. He was the only one. He has a couple of marks. He was loved. I loved Garfield so much. One of my cats is getting really fat and we need to work on that. But yeah, I've been calling him Garfield lately because Garfield was a chunker. And he was my, oh my gosh, Garfield was my everything when I was younger. So yeah, that was cute. I might keep, I don't know if I'll keep it. Maybe I'll keep it. So now we're going to do a little bit of unwrapping because I have a lot of stuff in this box that I didn't unwrap. 
So this, um, when I see Pier 1 imports things, I grab them because they are collectible on eBay. Maybe not in live sales because they're more modern and people tend to go to the sales for vintage goodies. But I just thought the coloring was amazing too. And I haven't looked it up to see if it has value just by itself. No, I did actually. I did. And it had definitely enough value to be worth putting it up on eBay. Maybe it was like $15 or something. So yeah, Pier 1. So Pier 1 can be pretty collectible depending. Well, I haven't seen it not be collectible to be honest. I mean, it's not highly monetarily valued, but um, yeah. Another scarf, which I screwed up on because it's an infinity scarf. <laughs> so. I'll either have to cut it for my hair, or I don't know, or I'll just wear it around my neck. So that was for me. What else do we have? Oh, yeah, this is just for me, because it's birds. And it's not, it's not collectible or anything. 2010 Liberty Graphics. I mean, if somebody really wants it, they can let me know. But, um, whoops, there we go. It smells so good. Like whoever donated that uses the best laundry detergent. So I just, I grabbed it too because I wanted to wrap up some of the uh, higher value pieces that I was just stuffing in my purse. So I used it as a wrap. And, oh, I got me some soap. Cause why not? Here's a pottery piece. This one is interesting, very interesting. So, 20, 25 cents, oh my gosh. So this has some wear, this was used. This was definitely used in the oven. And go for it, that's what it's for. So the glazing is very uh, matte, very, very matte. And it's signed on the back, Charlie Hart, maybe? And it says Ovenware, Maine, I believe. I believe that is what that says. So this might go in a pottery sale, although um, because it has a lot of crazing, which I like, some people might not like it. So it might, it might just stay here. It might just stay at my house. Oh, there's more. Okay. This was Saturday, so I kind of forgot what I did. I gotta move some things. Okay, wanna see more salt and pepper shakers? These are very odd to me. Very odd. Because, oops, they got a little hair on them. They s sit funny. Um, it looks like they'll topple over. So, let's hope I don't shake. I mean, <laughs> we all knew that was going to happen. We all knew. And they have some condition issues, so I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I don't know. I don't know why they exist like that. Like, they, you've, you know, why, why make that so topoly. I don't know. I don't know. I found this um, hippo fabric that you turn into your own stuffy. This is Hen uh, Henrietta and Humphrey the Happy Hippos. So this is definitely very 80s. Usually they have a date on them. And I don't see one. Oh, wait a minute. Joanne Kessler for Concord Fabrics, crafted with pride in USA, but not a date. So, this will go on eBay, unless, of course, somebody wants it. But I have a couple of others um, like that on eBay, so I just will throw that up there too. And just some more fabric for me. 
and I do sell fabric on eBay like in lots uh, because I do some quilting and crafting and I you know what I don't use I'll put in lots and sell so uh, this was really neat I love the peanuts not like some people like I don't own a whole bunch of stuff but um, this pillowcase is actually quite I don't want to use the word rare what's the what's right under rare um, I'll just say hard to find. So it's has a couple of different images or just a different cut on each side, but they're playing video games. So it's very 80s. And it's uh, the some of the things it says video athletes have to eat too. And the other thing that it says is cut off above Snoopy so I don't know what it says but yeah that's gonna go up on on eBay because I already looked to see if some sold and they have so and then um, I just liked the look of this tin and it has tea still in it I don't know why I'm taking the prices off but it says use before oh the tea is still good. It says best to use before October something 2021. So just this little Irish tea tin. Not vintage, but so cute. I love tins. And then I think lastly, except for all the books, I'll put, I'll put you on pause and grab just a few of the books. I won't show you all of them because there are way too many. So this is a Vera Bradley. I know nothing about Vera Bradley. Nothing. Nada. I know that they can be collectible and I know that sometimes they're not. This one is in perfect condition and you don't tend to see that, honestly, when people donate them. And um, I grabbed it, like literally I was checking out and I saw it across the way and ran over and grabbed it because I think I would like it. I've never owned a Vera Bradley. I've never really wanted to, but look at these colors. I might have to keep that because I wouldn't even know what pattern to call it in, in trying to, um, resell it. Or I could put it in a live sale and people would just know. And since I have the pink, lavender and gray live sale coming up on Sunday, maybe it will go in there because I don't know if it's quite my length. I like a little bit bigger. So maybe, yeah, maybe we'll put that in the sale, guys. So if anybody wants that, come to the live sale. I mean, come anyway, but we have fun. Oh, I forgot this little tiny bunny. Look at this tiny little bunny. Look at that face. Look at the ear. Oh my gosh. Like, his arm, his or her, their arms are crossed like they are having attitude. Look at that attitude. Or defiance or, I don't know. You don't often go like this when you're like happy. <laughs> so that's really cute. No idea who the maker is. You guys know so much more than me. So I'm hoping some of you, you know, put things in the comments. Hey Jody, that's such and such. Because you guys are so good at that. I love you for that. I love you for a lot of things. All right, I'm going to go grab a couple books. I'll be right back. Okay, beauties, here I am. So um, I'm not going to show you the vintage kids books I got, but I did get a lot of them. Um, like original Clifford's too, the big red dog. Like the paperback. Wait till you see them. They're, uh, they're on my website, thethriftypigeon.com, or they're going to be tonight. So... Uh, most of the books, the children's books that I got are on the thriftypigeon.com right now. And I have a stack to put on tonight. And they, they range from, I might even have a dollar book, but generally about $2 to, of, of the stuff I picked up at the church sale, I think from $2, oops, one of the boys is here for basketball. <laughs> 
So from $2 to maybe 8 is the highest priced book. So I'll show you the ones that I got that are adult vintage or even maybe antique considered books. This whole set is so cool. If you live in Maine, uh, you know, we have different counties. I'm sure you do in your state. And this, these are booklets for each county in Maine. They are so cool. And look at the rainbow effect they make. So let's grab, I live in Penobscot County. The dogs are going crazy. I live in Penobscot County. So these are main place names and the people of its towns. Oh my goodness. So like, sorry about that. That's Maggie. That's our girl dog. She's two. Yeah. So Brewer, so Brewer, Maine, and then a story all about Brewer and how it came to be and who, who created it. Um, I'm in Bangor. I tend to, I do know a little bit about the history of Bangor. I don't, oh, they're not in alphabetical order. Okay. So basically the story of how each town or city, I think there's only one city in Penobscot. Yeah. Bangor. Um, that came to be and there are a lot of names in here like you could do some genealogy in here huh index of cities and towns so this is pretty cool there's some history right here oh what what are the dates did they give a date these were made in freeport maine and 1957 that's cool. 1957. Oh, it was my husband who came home. All right, so he's going to want the camera soon because he's going to basketball. So I need to finish up this haul. Wildflowers. A guide to the wildflowers with illustrations, of course. Uh, no, I don't think there are any big... What do they call them? Not temp plates. I don't think there are any big illustration plates. And there aren't. But this is a really neat guide. And this is, and it doesn't smell bad or anything. Night, whoa, what? This printing was 1941. That is, it's, it's great. It's really nice. Then look at this one. Around the Year in the Garden, Frederick Fry Rockwell. I haven't looked through this yet. Oh yeah, pictures, actual photographs. Is this like how to garden? Oh, it's like a year. Okay, so it shows you like what to do the fourth week of June, um, how to care for your bushes. Uh, oh, there's neat. This is how seeds should be planted. There was a big plate right there, I think. Huh, maybe not. So, I'm sorry, you're not seeing a whole lot of this as I try to go through it. But yeah, it's basically a year of what you should be doing in your garden. So, I just love the cover. Look at that. That is really, really nice. All right, my husband's going to be bugging me for the camera in a minute. And then um, a lot of old Maine books. So Maine, A Guide Down East. Oh, Natural Resources of Maine. Um, highways and Byways. Let's see. Folklore. No, it's in the folklore part. Oh, maybe it's not. No, Transportation and Communication. Oh, no, Our Native People. We have a rich tradition of native um, tribes here. This is Passamaquoddy and Penobscot. My foster daughter slash daughter is Penobscot. So that's really nice. And the cover, oh my gosh, perfect condition. Perfect. So this is, let's see what year this is. Um, 1970. Oh, he's just going to pop in while I'm recording. You have to say hi now. 
<laughs> I'm almost done because I know you need the. Hi there. <laughs> I know you need it. So I'm trying to hurry. Go to charge the battery. Yeah, I love you, baby. Love you back now. Okay. So only in Maine. Selections from Down East Magazine. These are in really nice shape. When I used to sell, uh, resell things back, I think before my son was born, I really only did books because I love books so much. And I did a lot of main books back then and it was pretty lucrative. I honestly don't know what the market is right now for old main books, but um, I'm gonna give it a try. And this is copyright 1969. Let's look at the cover. Oh yeah, in perfect condition. Somebody gave their collection to this church, and I am going to love it. Well, or someone else will love it. Main Beautiful by Wallace Nutting. I've sold this one before, years ago. So, that's a cottage in Randolph, it says. It says, with 248 photographs and 30 drawings. A lot of Maine history in here. And those of us who love Maine, love Maine. We love Maine. I mean, I love New Jersey. Don't get me wrong. New Jersey is my favorite. Okay, so what year is this? Oh, Roman numerals. Ready? Oh, 10, 20. No, that can't be right. 1924? This, that must be when it was first written. This is not a 1924 edition, but they didn't put in the printed, the you know, the printing edition of this. So anyway, that's that. All kinds of main books, gardening books. Um, look at her. Oh my gosh. Look at her. I want to be her. She is just dancing the night away so I, I oh she I probably already said this but I am gonna put her in my live sale and she's I, I want beautiful things in my live sale I don't want to put everything on eBay I want you guys to come to the live sale and um, and I want you to get great deals so I think my friend would kick my butt if I didn't put this one on eBay and to see how far I could get with her because um, the last comp on she hasn't sold on eBay recently so the last comp on worth point I think was over 200 um, at least that's what my friend had told me so for this color there are there were a couple others and Michael from the cult of vintage sold a I think she was brunette with a same exact um, sta figurine, same exact planter, but she had a yellow dress on. And she, someone got a really good deal on her in the live sale. And I was tempted, but I, like, maybe I'll start the uh, Joseph original collection, but I, I can't right now. I just can't. My house is so full. So anyway, yeah, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I love and appreciate you so much. Why do I look like I'm, pain? I'm in pain when I tell you I love you? I'm, I love you. It's not pain. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for being here. I hope to see you at the live sale Sunday at 8 o'clock. And um, I will try to do my mug sales and stuff like that. Maybe, well, probably not before then. But anyway, I love you so much. Be good to each other. Thank you. Enjoy the weather. Bye for now.